After standing tall for more than 90 years, the Capitol Theater, as it was once called, is coming down in Racine. The city ordered the demolition despite a local group's efforts to save it. 12 News' Shanae Armara spoke to that group's members who made a final push this morning to stop the teardown. Here behind me, this group has been working for the last two years trying to save the theater. You can see their signs up here. So wrong, honk, just so wrong. We don't understand. And right across from them, that historic theater here in Racine. It's called the Capitol Theater. Now, it was built in 1928, then renamed to Park in 1981. Really a staple for many in this community. But according to the city, there was over $100,000 in unpaid property taxes on this theater. And the city also says the owner, the past owner of this theater, did not keep it up to date. And it's too costly to restore. But according to this group, they want to become the owners and restore and repair the theater. But as you see, right now, it's too late. And it could have been back to a public venue. Les Paul played here in 1930 when he was 14 years old. So, so it, it is history. It's just that it's so wrong. This history belongs to everybody. And when people love a building this much and the history of it, the elected representatives certainly should be listening to their constituents. Now, according to Judith, who you just heard from, this isn't a job that's going to be done in one day, uh, tearing this uh, theater here down. Uh, they expect to tear down the walls and do more work next week. We're going to bring you updates as soon as we learn more. I'll send it back to you in the studio.